upside down. What's up everybody, Joey here. We are up in the Muskokas right now. It is March 22nd, 2019, and we are chasing lake trout. We've come up a couple times in the past. It's been a rough go this year. Uh, lots of snow, lots of sledders, crazy busy out here. But today, today is the day, I think. Today, we should hook up into some tanks. Anyways, stay tuned, guys. Uh, my buddy's currently on his way. He's kind of trickling along. We'll give you a nice little look over here. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's him right there. You see that little guy right there? There he is. He's making his way out. Anyways, listen up. Stay tuned. Hopefully, we can put you guys on some fish, all right? Boom. <laughs> Lake Trout. That is what we came here for. Muskoka has some beautiful fish, and this is one of them. Holy smoke. <laughs> today we're using a knee shine smell head and a gulp a gulp minnow we're gonna peel back just a little bit on it so it has more of a natural look but that's it right there hopefully we get these fish so far no marks on the bottom which right away tells me they're up high so we're gonna work this bait up high at the surface see if we can get some sight fishing going on over here Oh, they're hitting it on the fall, dude. Like still on me, like hard. <laughs> yeah, man. Like he's he's like freaking ripping on me. Got him, got him on the fall, dude. Got him on the fall. Got him. I'm on. This thing smoked it on the freaking fall. Whoo! That's it. That's it. Small little guy. He's probably about a pound and a half, but buddy. That's like four fish in a matter of like 10 minutes, eh, Riley? He's a little beauty, a little tiny guy. Not what I usually like to put on film, but we'll take it for a start. We'll take it for a start. Get this guy. Oh, that was on finesse. I'm eating a pepperette. This fish comes out of nowhere. Come on! Small little feather again. Little scraparulo. Nice little beautiful little acres. I'm on! Oh, never mind. He's okay. He's okay. Squeaker again. I just got a medium light rod on. Squeaker. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Good fish. <laughs> bro, it's because look at this rod. I'll start finding some bigger fish here. Damn, bro. That thing's smart with you to the camera. <laughs> Set the hook. Bill. I'm like, oh. Cooking a storm up in here, baby. Woo! Holy smokes. Oh, baby. On! Good fish! Good fish! Big fish! Big fish! Good one, good one! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Big fish! 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh, he's at the hole. I got a leader. Oh, buddy. Uh, yeah, he's all right. Still a good fish. Oh, I got him good. There we go. That's he choked. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> he had nailed that. <laughs> Holy smoke, I still got pizza in my mouth. I was eating pizza, I dropped the pizza. <laughs> I wonder if I got it on that camera. Look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Awesome little lake trout. Sweet. Get this guy back in the water. Ooh. He's a ready to rip. Those are fun See you later. For sure, bud. Woo! Okay. Heck. What's up guys, Joey here. Uh, I just want to do a little rundown on basically how to get these lake trout through the ice. What they're doing is they're basically coming in from these depths and they're just corralling the bait right up to the surface. And a lot of the time, uh, we see a lot of smaller fish on the screen. And the smaller fish, what they'll do, um, this is the main thing, this is like the ticket giveaway, um, is that the baby fish will actually chase your bait up and about 20 feet they'll peel down. The main mistake that a lot of people do is they'll drop the bait back down to it. Um, unless you want to catch you know, a little cookie eater fish, which you'll see in the film, um, those are the fish that you're getting that drop back down right to the bottom. If you want to catch those bigger fish, you got to keep your baits up high and you got to be closer to that ice surface because these bigger fish are right under that ice. And I'm telling you, sometimes when you're dropping it, they'll chase it on the way down. Um, the bigger fish that I just caught was actually in 50 feet of water. However, I was dead sticking in 25 feet and that fish came up by 30 and smoked me about 15. So it goes to show you the bigger fish at that better size, quality of size are holding up high. So guys, don't make the mistake. Trust me on this. I'm going to try and get some bigger fish for you today, but keep those baits high this time of year. End of March, anywhere up north, Muskoka, anywhere up north, these lakes are just filled with lake trout. And the fact is they're probably swimming right under your feet and you don't even know it so keep that bait high and trust me keep with it work it up and down from the top to about 30 feet up and down up and down and if some waters allow you to use two rods use two rods leave one rod dead sticking on the bottom and work the top 30 feet up and down up and down don't stop um, if you do stop give it a couple yo-yos and then let it rest. If nothing happens there, just continue the, the rhythm again. You gotta get their attention to come on over. And when you do, they don't think twice, they smoke it, all right? So I'm gonna cut this down quickly because uh, because it's kind of like rambling on. I don't wanna be really like rambling on. I'm kind of hyped up right now because we've been catching so much fish, but not the quality size fish. Uh, we're gonna try sight fishing these things right now, so hopefully we can get some fish on for you. Oh. Big fish just came up on me there, guys. I'll show you. Let me show you uh, what I'm talking about. So basically, this is what I'm doing right now. This is what I'm doing. So, I am in 39 feet of water right now. As you can see, I got 39 feet of water. That is my line right there, okay? That is my line. If you line it up, I'm in 10 feet of water out of that 30. You can literally see my bait, my bait. That little speck right there. So basically, I'm leaving it. That was a fish right there. That fish came up to try to streak at it. Unfortunately, I didn't drop it. I wasn't paying attention. I was drinking some water. But what I'm doing is I'm leaving it up here and I'm basically reeling it up to the ice, dropping it down. Reeling it up to the ice, dropping it down. And as back as I go, it's about 20 feet. Whatever fish wants to come up, they're going to eat it. So, I mean, it's bottoms up right now bottoms up this season so guys don't keep your beats down low you gotta keep them up high oh oh I see him I see him I see him oh he's on it oh he's on it got him got him <laughs> oh, no, no. one guy like tight to 40 right now Wow, that was weird. I can't. Oh, oh, I got a chaser. I'm on! Big fish! Big fish! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! He hit me at the ice! Oh, baby! We're hooked up! 
We're hooked up. Oh my goodness, big fish, dude. Oh my goodness. Riley, tank, bro, tank. 10 pounder, maybe more. Dude, tank, big fish, bro. Another tank. This thing's a giant. Dude, right to your, like, when you go out, look left. I'm on the island. Dude, he hit me right under the ice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, tank. This thing's a giant. Oh my gosh, this is a giant. Whoa, this is a giant! <laughs> Yo, Riley, you see me? No. When you look, okay, go out of your hut, look left, northwest. Oh my gosh, dude, this is a tank. Oh my goodness. Do you hear this? Oh my goodness! Do you hear this? I'm coming. Bro, do you hear this? Did you just hear that? Dude, he's still running. This thing just did a 200 yard run. Freaking shot. Oh, watch that. Over there, but I couldn't Buddy. get go. Dude, I'm telling you, I can't even budge this fish right now. He's just holding to the ice. <laughs> He's holding to that ice. This is gonna be a 10 minute fight, buddy. I'm, I'm nowhere near my freaking leader. I'm telling you right now. How long is your leader? 20 feet. Still screaming line. And my drag's tight, buddy. I ripped them. Like, it's tight. Oh, he's doing uh, the death circle now. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. Just farted in the Okay, he's more under me now, which is a little bit better. I just want to see him. <laughs> Bro, I just want to see this fish. Were you using the necklace? No! I'll show you what I got. <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. Stay t Oh, there he goes. I'm kidding you. I'm not kidding you, dude. You missed the run he did. You missed the run he did. This thing ran me across the freaking lake. Holy shit, dude, freaking pirouette on this thing. <laughs> oh. oh. There he is there down is. there. I seen his back. There is my lure. What the hell is going on? I see the lure. I don't see the fish. It's a sturgeon. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look down there. Oh my goodness! Oh my! Go put the camera closer. Yeah, you can see him on the camera. Oh my goodness, dude, that's a giant. That's a giant. I saw that. That's over ten. <laughs> oh my goodness! Ooh. Get a close up. Get a close up of that. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, boys and girls. <laughs> Dude, that's a tank. Did you see that fish? Guys, I'm so sorry. I get so excited. I'm so sorry. That's what it's all about, man. Get that fish. Just get it right up to that. Ho right, wait, wait till you see him. Oh, we can see him in the camera. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me it was that Ready? stupid gulp, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude, fix your head up. Going again. So much spunk in these damn things. Oh my gosh. It's not even like a giant, like that's a big fish, but like a 20 pounder. you would be here all day. Dude, I'm still I'm fighting this fish for 10 minutes. More. Oh, such a beauty fish, man. Some hugs when this is landed, eh? Right? Holy f. Oh my gosh. Oh, gosh. I just don't want him to get stuck you on that air. grab him or you want me to grab him? <laughs> you able to grab him? Oh, I can. Okay. Lots of footage. I just 
just gotta get his head. He's shaking me there. Get him? Woo! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Yep. Guys, take a look at that lake trout. That is what we came here for. Muskoka has some beautiful fish, and this is one of them. Holy smoke. We're gonna get a couple pictures of this baby. We're gonna get her back in quick, okay? Giant of a fish. We fought this one for a while. We're gonna wait till it kicks. It's starting to kick. Nice and slow. It's a long fight for this fish. Oh, there was six. Yeah. Six. Nice, dude. Today was just absolutely a blessing of a day. Um, it was crazy. There is so much fish today. And uh, to top it off, we just caught that. It's still starting to turn on. I think the bite's starting to turn on. I don't know yet, but the way that fish ate, he had no, he had, he had no remorse for the thing. He absolutely smoked it. Um, this is what we were using. Um, it's basically just a knee shine head, a uh, knee shine smelt head. Uh, right there with a gulp minnow on the back of it and this thing swims incredible and the way this thing hit it I seen a mark on the bottom I'm 40 feet of water so I seen a mark on the bottom and exactly did what I told you guys earlier the small fish it came up and it peeled back down I continued reeling it up to the ice surface the minute I hit that hole I dropped it within five feet of that hole I seen a mark peeling down to that to my bait and it smoked me at 10 feet, which is literally right under the hole. I could see the fish when it hit me. Just goes to show you guys, those small fish, don't go for them. This time of year in general, March, April, you gotta keep those baits high and that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get big fish out of it. So keep to it, set yourself up on a nice hump, saddle, ledge, and just keep those baits in the top 20 feet of that water column because those big fish are cruising up high and they're just trying to steal whatever bait is basically up high against that ice surface, okay? Holy smokes, my heart's racing. That was probably one of the biggest fish today. Wow, unbelievable, unbelievable, guys. Stay tuned, hopefully we can put some more on the ice for you.